Hey Techno Studs, let's take a look at some of the configurations for IP Source Guard. Not much of a surprise that it's very similar to how we set up something like dynamic ARP inspection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on switch two here and just show you how to configure some of this. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm going to set up DHCP binding. I can st actually statically set up my different bindings, but since I want this to be dynamic, I'm gonna set up DHCP snooping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into the global configuration mode Configure IP DHCP snooping. And then we will do snooping for VLAN. And let's do one of our other VLANs. So we're going to do for VLAN 30. And then I'm going to get into the interface. So I'm going to do an interface. I'll just do a random one here. We'll say FA about 03 and hit enter on that. And then I'm going to say IP verify source. That's really the only command that we need to enable this from uh, IP source guard on the switch. So I'm gonna hit enter and now I have it configured. So it's gonna verify the IP addresses. Now it's going to verify it based off of e either the DHCP snooping database, binding database, or uh, what I can do is I can set up a static. So I can do an IP source Binding, I actually got it copied over here because there's quite a bit to it. I'm What I'm doing is I'm binding the MAC address with the VLAN, and so maybe I'd bind that to VLAN uh, 30. Let's bind it to VLAN 30 with the IP address. Uh, maybe it's a machine on here, so um, we're gonna do 10.1.30.34, an interface, and let's say zero 03, so we'll do zero 03. And then that's how to set up a static binding on it. So just a few commands to set this up to verify the IP address and that it's coming, uh, that the IP traffic that's coming across here is legitimate.